It may sound counterintuitive, but diffusing might actually be healthier for your hair and might be a healthier option for your hair than air drying. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Suhanna. Today we're gonna talk about diffusing and air drying. I have made a video about diffusing and air drying and I've also made a video about how I diffuse my very long wavy hair. But today we're gonna talk about how diffusing may actually be a healthier option for you and your waves versus solely or strictly air drying. Of course, both drying methods have their pros and their cons but you may actually benefit more from diffusing your hair than from air drying. So we're going to talk about that today. As always, I have links in the description for humanitarian causes that need your help. And for my fellow Canadians, I have Elections Canada um, in there as well. So if you wanted to vote ahead of time, there's all that information there, but let's dive right in. So intuitively, it does seem like air drying can be the only healthy option or the healthiest drying option because you're not manipulating your hair, you're not adding heat to your hair, so how could air drying be less damaging than diffusing? Well, it really depends. Again, both drying methods have pros and cons, but if you have wavy or curly hair, you may benefit more from diffusing. When you're letting your hair air dry, especially if you're someone like me who has thicker strands and your hair is really long, it can take upward of five hours to air dry, or at least for me it does. And during that time, I'm leaving my hair in a weakened state. And I had seen a video on TikTok from a curly creator, I can't remember her name, so if you guys saw it on your For You page too, um, just tag her so I can tag her. But she had, mentioned that if you have curly or wavy hair and you're just letting it air dry for hours in that weakened state, your hair bonds could actually be weakening, which can loosen your curl pattern instead of making it more defined. And this doesn't necessarily mean that air drying altogether is really damaging for your hair because it really depends on how long your hair naturally takes to air dry. So for someone like me, whose hair does take hours on end to air dry, Diffusing my hair is actually a healthier option for me. If your hair only takes like an hour to air dry or maybe an hour and a half to air dry, you don't really have too much to worry about because on top of that, we are still doing our deep conditioners, protein treatments if your hair likes protein. Olaplex, and if you're not already, you know, taking care of your hair in that way, you should. But if your hair takes a very, very long time to dry and you have wavy or curly hair, it can be better for you and better for your hair and your hair texture and your curl pattern or your wave pattern for you to be diffusing. The longer your hair stays wet, the more your hair's cortex will swell. And when your cortex is swelling, that can lead to permanent damage. And we know damaged hair can be frizzier, will break easier, will have more split ends, which you ultimately will have to cut off. So if you have hair that takes a long time to air dry, it's better for you to switch over to diffusing. Of course, you wanna diffuse the right way and you wanna use a heat protectant when you diffuse. Hovering cup is the easiest way and obviously save your ends to the end. That's what Miss Means by Mel taught us and that is going to be the better option for you. Now, if you have hair that does not take a long time to air dry, you can still air dry and you don't have to worry too much you may still benefit from doing a little bit of diffusing, but the main thing when it comes to air drying your hair safely, or I guess air drying with less damage is squeezing out as much water as possible. You wanna get your microfiber towel or a t-shirt and really, really blot that water out, squeeze the water out. You wanna get out that water because you don't wanna leave your hair in that swollen, weakened state for too long. So whether you are somebody who diffuses your hair regularly or air dries regularly, the thing to keep in mind is that the longer water stays in your hair, the more your hair will swell and the more likely your hair is to be damaged. So if you have hair that takes a long time to dry, you may wanna to switch to diffusing. That could be the healthier option for your hair. If you're somebody whose hair does not take very long to air dry and you've been air drying, you can keep doing your thing. The main thing is just making sure you're also doing repairing treatments like your deep conditioners, your protein treatments, your Olaplex, whatever it may be. So yeah, that is everything. I know this was a shorter video, but because I've been letting my hair naturally air dry over the last few weeks and I've been noticing it actually getting frizzier and looser and I was like, what is going on? And then I saw that TikTok and I'm like, 
oh, that's why my hair is getting frizzier and looser because I've just been letting it air dry. So if you liked the video and you did find it helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you do wanna see more videos like this one, please subscribe, I would love to have you here. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. You can check out my second channel that I post on once in a while if you want to. But that is it, I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.